It's here, the Skoda Kushak. We are at the world premiere of Skoda's MQB A0 IN mid-size SUV, which has been designed and engineered for India. As you can see, the styling stays very close to the concept that was shown at the Auto Expo. Now, we have driven the Kushak in both the 1 litre and the 1.5 TSI turbo petrol engines. We drove that. Those cars were camouflaged prototypes in the flesh. I can tell you, it looks as well as it drives. This is our first walk around of the static car, the Kushak, and these are the details that we know as of now. So let's start with the styling. As you can see, it's got the new characteristic Skoda grille up front, which is very in your face and actually very distinctive. This obviously is the top of the line variant and you get a lot of chrome. You get the front skid plate effect to give it that SUV-ish feel. And there is a nice sporty vibe, especially with the black arches that contrasts well with the rest of the car. This orange and that red are unique to the Kushak and it gives it a nice sporty and young vibe. You have the Skoda badging on the front fender. The wheels, they are 17 inch wheels on the top of the line variant. The lesser variants get 16 inch wheels. Disc brakes up front, obviously, but at the rear, you get drum brakes. The wheelbase is claimed to be the longest in its class and it does deliver a good amount of space as we'll show you when we step in at the back. Now at the rear, again, the tail lamps, very attractive. It's got this, obviously, LED tail lamps, got this nice effect on top. Now the tail lamps are not full with tail lamps. It's got the Skoda lettering right in the center, Kushak on the hatch, a nice chrome strip. And again, this sort of skid plate kind of effect to give it that SUV vibe. Let's look at the boot space. This is a nice and deep boot. So the loading sill is a little higher, but the boot floor is lower. So you get a fair bit of space in the boot. It's on par with the rest of the range. This is the toolkit and you have a space saver spare. Actually, it's not a space saver spare. It's a 16 inch wheel in the center. You don't get a remote tailgate operating. And exhaust strips, a lot of you talk about the exhaust strips. There are no exhaust strips that is noticeable. So no fake exhaust strips to complain about. The overall styling of the Kushak is very crisp. If you look at all the angles, all the lines, this nice crisp shoulder line, it gives it that timeless European kind of appeal. It's not a styling just for the today, for the now, for the moment, but this is something that will age extremely well and on the road, it will be extremely distinctive. You will not miss a Kushak when it passes by. Two engines will be available on the Kushak, the one liter TSI, which we've seen on the Polo and the Bento Rapid, but the one liter engine is now going to be localized, 75% localization, and the state of tune is actually higher than the Vento Rapid and the Polo. Makes 113.3 bhp, 175 Newton meters of torque. Gets a six speed manual and a six speed torque converter automatic. The torque converter automatic is also the latest generation. It's not the same spec as what you would find in the Polo, Vento, and the Rapid. The second engine is the 1.5 TSI engine. Now, we knew that it would get the DSG, the seven speed DSG, but interestingly, it also gets a six speed manual transmission and for enthusiasts that will be great so 1.5 TSI engine makes 148 bhp of power 250 newton meters of torque and manual gearbox is going to be great fun because the dynamics of the Kushak like we saw on a prototype drive in Goa are excellent 17 inch wheels it's got ESC as standard electronic stability control up to six airbags on the top end variant and because it is based on the globally acclaimed MQB A0 iron of the Volkswagen Group, we expect the safety ratings also to be very high on the Kushak. Now let's talk about the interiors of the Kushak. I'm not going to take off my mask. A lot of people have sat inside the car, so we've got to respect COVID-19 protocols. The Kushak. Now, both the variants out here have been shown with automatic gearboxes. This is the 1.0 litre. It gets a 6-speed torque converter as an option and the 1.5 
gets a six-speed DSG twin clutch automatic. Things to load, notice, the steering wheel. It's got this new design, new Skoda design. It's a two-spoke steering wheel, which actually looks very good. The steering adjusts for reach as well as rake, which is a good thing. A lot of their competitors don't have reach, only height adjust for the steering. It feels nice, nice leather quality. Now, when we drove the prototypes, one thing that I pointed out was that the seats didn't feel high quality and premium. Those cars were prototypes. So these final production cars, the seat fabric is actually nice and the front seats are ventilated. So you get ventilated seats for the driver as well as the passenger. Climate control, you get a 10 inch touchscreen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, also Skoda's updated Skoda Connect app. You don't get a digital cockpit. You get normal analog dials, which in my opinion is nice. I have no problem with proper needles. Sunroof, it's not a panoramic sunroof. It's a ordinary normal size sunroof, which is good enough. I have to come back to the seats because the seats are very supportive, nice side bolstering, very good under thigh support. It's got height adjust, but it is manual. It's not electric operated. So you get a very nice driving position and I have experienced this driving position when I drove the prototypes in Goa. You get USB-C ports, so two USB-C ports in the front, two USB-C ports at the rear. The only real downside to the cabin is that it is not a wide cabin. Four people can sit very comfortably. I'll jump into the back, I'll show you the space at the back. Four people, comfortable. For five, it will be a bit of a pinch, even though this has a flat floor because this is going to be only front wheel drive. It's got a space on the top of the dash for idles or whatever you want to put there. And the overall design of the dash is really nice. Flawless, nothing to complain about. Quality of the materials for the category, actually very good. And overall, the build integrity of the car, the way the car feels is just excellent. Just what you would expect a premium European SUV, mid-size SUV, to look and feel like. The back seat of the Koshak. The front seat is actually adjusted to my driving position. I was just in the front, adjusted it. And there is a fair bit of free knee room. Almost, I think this is two, three inches of free knee room, which is pretty generous. Fair amount of free headroom. And the seats are actually contoured very well. So it's almost like you have two bucket seats, which gives you good support. The recline for the backrest is also very well sorted. You have an armrest. The seats, the fabric feels nice. Two USB-C ports. You get AC vents for the back. There's a slight transmission tunnel, not too much, but this is a little narrow, the cabin. For five, it'll be a bit of a pinch. Four, very comfortable. This center, it's got a kind of hump in the center. So this is not really comfortable also because of the armrest. You don't really sit comfortably. But when you are out here, this is really nice. You also get a pocket in the back of the seats for your mobile phone. So thoughtful touches, lot of space inside the cabin, huge amount of space in the doors. The wheelbase is the longest in its class and it is actually visible from inside when you sit inside the car. So overall for four thumbs up, two thumbs up actually. So what do I think of the Skoda Kushak? Now, obviously, we don't know the prices as of now. We expect it to be around starting at 10 lakh rupees and going all the way up to 16 lakh rupees. Price bang against the Hyundai Creta and the Kia Seltos. The car is going to be launched in June. Price announcements are going to happen in June. But we have driven the Kushak. We know that it drives really well. The only two drawbacks are it doesn't have a diesel engine. And for five, it is slightly cramped. But otherwise, in every other respect, styling, engineering, dynamics, safety, equipment, everything. The Kushak hits the nail on the head. The most important car of 2021? I definitely think so. Subscribe to the Evo India channel and hit the bell icon to keep pace with the thrill of driving.